people and we are singing, singing for our lives. We are gentle, angry people and we are singing, singing for our lives. Oh yeah. So what's your passion for being here today? Uh, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. <laughs> There's so many things that uh, I'm upset about going on in this country. Uh, and certainly one of the ones is how we've been ripped off by the banks, the big banks. So move your money. Hi, my name is Diana. McLeod and I closed my account at Chase yesterday and I had my account for many many years I had it at Chase uh, I had it at Washington Mutual and whatever bank came before that but I've been so profoundly affected by the recession and the misery uh, both personally and with friends and family that I really feel it's time for us to take control of our money and to bring it back uh, to our local communities where it can actually do some good and not decision making way far away in Wall Street. Um, so that's why I'm here today. Well, when I think about it, because I know in, I agree with the 99%, but, but for me, they haven't hit my reason either. I have some grown children and grandchildren trying to get a job. Um, it's funny, they, I have a few that are now living together so that they can make ends meet and going in and out of the house at different hours because they can't get full-time employment. And, and then obviously no health benefits. I'm, it just seems that there's something crazy with that. I mean, if you know that the people really want to go to work. So I'm here uh, because I'm tired of the banks who took all our money and TARP money and they're not giving it back out to the community and uh, so it's time to put all our money, take it out of the big banks, put it into the small community banks and support them and the credit unions and let them suffer for it. Yeah. Hello, I'm Paul Howard and I'm out here because it's about time people go out and put their thoughts out there where it makes a difference. And as I've said before, I'm really a Ron Paul fan and I'm hoping to generate some interest in Ron Paul here on Woodby Island. So what's your sign say? Uh, my sign says I am 13. I have to spend the rest of my life paying off a debt that isn't mine. And I'm pretty angry about that, actually. It sucks. Yeah. Do you want to speak more to your passion for being here today? Um, well, I've been following the Wall Street movement for like a while, so when I found out it was coming to the island, I was pretty psyched. So I just hopped on my bike and came down here. So do you want to tell me what your passion for being here is? Um, mostly my passion for being here is just to support the cause and to take away the power from the government, which is in turn being owned by the banks and the big corporations such as the oil companies. They go, oh here, here's some money. Ooh, we'll take it. Oh, you can have the government, by the way. So basically, we're getting owned by the people that are controlling us. So I don't know if that made much sense, but we're getting owned by these corporations that are going into countries, shooting missiles at Iraq, killing people to get the oil, come back over here, drill for more oil until the whole oil basically is one big death machine. And in turn, the government is tied to the banks, which is tied to the oil company, so that's mostly my cause for being here. Okay, I'm here today. Um, it's time to stand up. The whole system is corrupt and inequitable, so anything that helps to move it in a different direction is positive. Hey, I'm retired. I worked for the government for 30 years, and I'm sick of this stuff. I'm sick of this corporate greed. Can't live on Social Security with all these people. Thanks. Well, I'm here because I think capitalism is, uh, it needs a good watchdog. It needs somebody to keep an eye on it. And uh, that 99% is probably who should keep an eye on it. I'm part of that 99%. It kind of runs amok.
Hi, I think the Occupy movement is a spontaneous outbreak of grassroots democracy. It's breaking out all over the country. It's breaking out all over the world. It's an evolutionary phase of the planet and nothing can stop it. And I love it. I'm very excited about this moment. It's time that we spoke up. We, the citizens of this country, not the consumers, but the citizens of this country, need to say things loud and clear. It has been an immoral um, happenings that are going on with our finances, with our Wall Street, with our government, and we need to protest. So I see this as not only moral, but patriotic and positive and very exciting and welcoming. It's time. Thank you. I am really mad at what's happening in society today. I don't believe we can have a country with such a gap between the rich and the poor. And I think that the rich have to give uh, to, the, to the poor. We all need to be considered uh, who really needs help and help each other. And I'm not against anybody making a fair wage or, you know, being a CEO and deserving a certain amount. But I think that there's a lack of, of common sense here about what the general public will feel is fair, and we need to have a fair feeling in this country. Okay. Yeah. Well, hi, we're here to, to support uh, Occupy Wall Street. Uh, we're here to get people to move their money, and I'm here because I want the young people involved again. You know, young people, you were very hopey, and now you're mopey. Well, get up off the couch and vote for Obama. Look at who else. I mean, he's not perfect, but he's all we've got. Vote for Obama. From Woodby Island, I am Craig Sear, and I'm so pleased to, uh, to be here today and to express the opinion that banks, for-profit banks, just need to be a relic of the past. Uh, credit unions are the way to go. I encourage everybody to move their money to a credit union. At a credit union, you're a member, and at a bank, you're a customer. There is a very big difference, and I encourage everybody to move their money. Well, I've run for office five times. I won three of them, and money talks. And if you can pull the money out of the process, then we have a fighting chance, and we, fu and we ought to fund the campaigns so we can get the big boys out. The corollary then, a continuation, is that Citizens United's got to be overturned, because if we don't overturn it, there's no hope for this country. So I'm here also just for the injustice of being uh, 63 and, uh, shall we say, not finding permanent work. I mean, that's another issue. I'm reinventing myself, so I'm not trying to find work. But how many people in their 30s and 40s, 50s, or 20s that cannot find work because of the system? So it's all tied to a system where we get the money out of politics, then there's a fighting chance for the 99% to have play, pay in the system. Well, I think, I think that money has corrupted every system that we have today, our financial systems, our political systems, our education systems, and, and I think it has to change, and it's not going to change until there's a uh, nationwide recognition of what the problem is. Because I feel there needs to be a change, a shift in terms of the way money is being handled. Well, that's why I'm here. Just another number, 99. <laughs> All right, let me flip it. That one too. Hi, I'm Aubrey, and I'm here at the Occupy South Woodby, and I'm extremely pleased with the community involvement for the situation. It's such a negative situation and it's really turning into positive results. We're really being forced to assess our priorities and to figure things out. And I think it's only gonna go uphill from here. And, um, and uphill is the greatest, the greatest thing that we can do. And this is such a small community, but everyone's pulling together. And um, hopefully we'll just become an even bigger, a bigger force across the country and internationally. I'm here because big money are destroying the hopes and dreams of not only the people in this country, but all over the world. We got sold out! 
Well, I'm out here today because I want to be able to have a financial future for my grandkids and kids all over the planet, and especially the children of Woodby. We have to be able to bring more young people to Woodby, and that means we have to have a sustainable, resilient community. Hi. I'm deeply disturbed about the growing inequality in this country, the growing economic inequality in this country. Um, people who um, are not paying any taxes or at least a fair share of taxes as compared to the shrinking middle class. Um, I'm here because I believe that we should locally uh, control our own money uh, rather than um, have big banks control our money and so we're here trying to drum up interest for the credit union on Whidbey, which we're um, currently applying uh, for. Oops. I'm here today because I think that Wall Street is totally screwing us over as a country, economically, financially, socially, culturally, and I think it's time we take back control or take control. And we're starting a local Whidbey Island credit union so that we can do that here on our island. Fancy dances. It's about time that we people start to be heard because other, bu other buddies have been doing everything to do their damage and nobody's paying attention. They, they will now, hopefully they will now. Yay. Any, any Occupy demonstration is a good moment in time. There you go. You know, the way the banks have been behaving the last decade is just unconscionable, and they just don't learn. They can, can continue to do the same thing. And for us to have here local control, nonprofit, our own people managing it, people we know we can trust, it really makes a big difference. Thank you very much. Yeah. Since I'm one of the 99 percenters, I got to go to work. Okay, see you, Dan. Yeah. We are standing here together, and we are singing, singing for our lives. We are standing here together. And we are singing, singing.